In the San Diego Community College District, approximately 65% of high school graduates entering college are not college ready. To help reduce this disturbing trend, we thought, what if the colleges teamed up with the high schools and worked together? San Diego City College, an urban community college bordered by San Diego High School to the north and Garfield High School to the east, has collaborated with Garfield since 1999 to offer a unique curriculum designed for Garfield's highest risk students. Technically, the students are generation 1.5 learners. What does that mean? It means that they're working with sometimes two and three different cultures, two and three different languages. They're in jeopardy of not graduating, so all the rules were sort of thrown out and they came up with a new set of rules. They didn't have to have as many units, but they had to take a college class. Ah, where we come in, they had to take a college class. With lessons learned at Garfield as a foundation, and with grant support from the Gates Foundation, the Foundation for California Community Colleges, and Jobs for the Future, the program was expanded to include cohorts of ninth and 10th graders from San Diego Early Middle College and the early colleges at San Diego High School, with a focus on developing college readiness. We are an early college high school on the campus of City College. Our students take college courses in the 11th and 12th grade on their own. And we learned a lot from the middle college. And in the reflection papers, they would state, God, I'm so afraid. I know I'm not going to make it. And then they would see that they could make it. And then they would say, ah. Oh. And the lights would come on, and they would have a new dream. This is 20 years getting here. This is a long haul. Really what we want to be doing with the college is preparing them to take college courses. In high school, the students are doing this, but when they get to college, this is what's going to be expected of them. And it makes sense for the college to work with us to show us, okay, here's what the disconnect is. And I kept asking myself, why are we waiting until their 12th grade? Why aren't we doing this sooner? I love them. I adore them. They are challenging. They are complicated. They have great futures, if only they can see that. With passion, you can overcome anything. You can make everything that's impossible, possible. And that's our job, is to be passionate, to be involved, and to make them care. Ultimately, the high schools and the college sought to modify both the collective curriculum and learning environment so the college preparation provided by the high schools would be a more meaningful reflection of the expectations of college faculty. In the summer of 2010, a cohort of 60 high school students participated in a pilot enrichment program. Students conceived ideas for community projects and then planned for the resources to make those ideas real. We're trying to find how we could help the community and how the community could help us. We go to hospitals and like bond with the children that are there and that are sick to help them and show them that we care. And then more picnic for family. Our program is to help the animals. We're letting them live their life while we try to pick them back up, you get me? The students get to look at something in their own community. They get to identify an issue that they're invested in. And then through that context, they'll be doing lots of writing and thinking and college level skills, but kind of we're sneaking them in there. Basically, some of the things that they are incorporating into the course are some key cognitive skills and strategies. We're teaching them research skills, writing skills, math skills, so they can come up with the final project and also public speaking as well as presentations. They'll know that they've learned about this community project, they've learned how to write a proposal, but they won't necessarily know that they've developed these other skills until they see it play out in their college careers. So I'm learning like communicating skills, leadership skills, which is like really important for me. They expect us to be a lot more responsible and mature. Right here you get to interact with everybody, you get to meet new people, and you get to actually do something that helps the world. During the next four weeks, you'll be encouraged to find your voice, share ideas, take action, and have an impact on health, education, human service, and environmental issues in your community. The academic curriculum of the Summer Enrichment Program was specifically designed to prepare students for rigorous college course taking. It is based on the research of Dr. David Conley, 
who identifies four critical dimensions of college readiness. While all dimensions of this model were integrated into the four-week course, every element of the summer enrichment program was planned to develop critical cognitive strategies, those intellectual habits generally associated with higher order thinking, which are essential to college success. So they're learning to collaborate and also they're going out and doing interviews in the community. And I think that they're saying, oh, we're, we're learning, but in a different way and it's relevant to real life. So they're doing lots and lots of work, but in, a, in an area where it's, it's more engaging and hopefully they're motivated. You guys have great ideas. Share your voice louder. You're smart, come on, you're imaginative. Now, I want brilliance. I finally got to do what I do best, which is um, you will see a lot of mayhem in the visuals, but that's called improvisation. Go, 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 run, run, and freeze. Cool. Yes, you can do it, you can do it. Yes, come on, round of applause. The summer enrichment program is one phase of a larger effort to provide a more seamless inter-institutional model that prepares students for the rigor and expectations of successful participation in college. Most of all, I do want to thank the students. While you're building a better community, we're also trying to build a better educational community between City College and San Diego High School and Early Middle College to provide not just uh, project summer enrichments for now, but in a long-lasting, sustainable way. We know we have 3,000 students across the street. Nobody has ever understood how to get them to walk across the street and come to college. A lot of these kids feel disenfranchised, and one of the main goals of this program is to get them to understand that they're a part of this society. I want you to understand that there are a lot of adults here who care a hell of a lot about you, your future, um, the work of our schools, and this means a lot to a lot of people. I have a hunch that the students who are participating in the summer enrichment program are more, going to be more likely to stay in the early college high school program and succeed. If you feel like the teachers here have done something for you that is meaningful, that is important, that you appreciate, would you please join me in standing up and just giving them a round of applause and thanks. Well, the goal is for us to be able to create something that's structural, that will stay in place, and that's something that's sustainable. There's evidence, early evidence, that something good is going on, but it will have to take some uh, the test of time to see if, if it bears out. That's why we need to, to find more funding. Our dream beyond all dreams is that when they complete the 10th grade, they understand being a college student. Being successful, being told they're smart, being told that they have a future, we're here for you. We're not leaving. The grant helped us get started and helped us understand, but we want it to continue. You know what'll be, what'll be exciting? It's when they come to college. When it's, what's so exciting is when they get a good job. What's so exciting is when they go back to the community and help other community members. Raul Hernandez, Sean Sanderson, Silvia Navarro, Jackie Alvarado, Oscar Gutierrez, Cesar Chavez, Valentina Muscle, Deontay Goss, Maria Navarrete, Frida Garcia, Celia Avira Ruiz, Diana Marie Cruz, Benito Garbe, Alberto Reyes, Melissa Diaz, Jessica Gomez Llanos, Ida Jagan, Stella Cole, Daisy Mata, Daniel Ramirez, Ricky Trauber, Evelyn Castaneda, Adam Al -Ase. Mena Temeskin, Leslie Arroyo, Angelica Navarro, Jordan Banks, Mercedes Mayfield, Jose Flores, Juan Santiara, Karen Renteria, Betty Brazil, Edith Morales, Justin Ward, Paloma Villasenor, Gabby Rodriguez, Christian Chitungi, Jose Rodriguez, Celeste Resendiz, Marnice Carter, Eric Rodriguez.